Hey there guys, this is Farwag's tutorial and I realize I haven't made a tutorial in a very long time. I'm really sorry, I've been really busy. But anyways, this video I'm going to be showing you guys. Actually, this video was meant to be uploaded and recorded like a month or two ago. Like a long time ago and I realized I never made this video. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to have multiple desktops on your computer so if you guys are confused on what I'm saying is not literally monitors set on your table but just one monitor with a bunch of desktops on it this is great if you're a multitasker like me I personally I usually have a load of windows popping up and it just gets really confusing so if you're like me and you want to get organized with that here's a great way to do it Okay, so the first one, I actually have two for you guys. I have two virtual desktop managers. Um, the first one here is Vista and XP Virtual Desktop. I believe this also works with Windows 7. Um, but the link will be in the description of this video. So, simply, if you guys notice this little bar down here at the bottom, these are this is pretty much the amount of desktops I have on right now. So, like I said, it's a virtual desktop. So, it's not physically on your table but it's like a bunch of desktops on your monitor hope you guys got that but this one right here so for example right now I have Camtasia Studio up this is my second desktop now if let's say I want to move to my first desktop alright you guys can see that little window pop up going back to the desktop number one and you guys can see the tasks down here everything changes for example now I have iTunes Google Chrome Firefox up and then let's say I want to move to my oops my third one my third desktop I have TweetDeck up here so you guys see the point right um, so for example I might be working on Photoshop and I also want to be on Twitter and iTunes working on Photoshop and fireworks and editing this whole mess of stuff I don't want a bunch of clustered tasks down here so it would be great if I could have multiple desktops to get it or all organized now one thing I was hoping this program would have would be for each different desktop you would have different wallpapers maybe I'm just messed up and crazy and can't find the options but seems like you can't do that and um, for every time you change your desktop the icon on your desktop will not change they will all be the same the only thing that will be changing you guess will see change are the tasks down here so for example you guys can see really really useful tool for me I personally I don't I don't really need all the um, all the background change appearance doesn't really matter as long as it works well okay so there's a few different ways you can change your desktop for one you have this little option thing here where you can put pretty much anywhere on your desktop and you can be clicking on them and they'll change desktops or I believe by default you can click the Windows little button on your keyboard and the number of your desktop. For example, I'm clicking Windows 1 and I got to desktop number 1. So let's just go into the options really quick. Yeah, so um, you, get, you do get to change the number of desktop. I believe it went up to 100. That's a ton. And um, there's a bunch of options here. And you can also change the desktop names if you're, um, you really want to get organized for example this would be music desktop twitter social media um, working desk I don't know it's a bunch of stuff and you can also choose your appearance which I'm not going to go into much you guys would choose that you can also choose your hotkey so if you don't if you don't like the windows and, and the number pad you can change the hotkeys here and your monitors program rule and basically that's it Okay guys, so this next one is called Dexpot. It pretty much does the same thing as the one I showed you before, the Vista and XP virtual desktops. But this one is um, one I found out from my friend Gabriel here on YouTube. If you want to check out his channel, it's Ratmaster243. And um, it's, it's called Dexpot. And like I said, does pretty much the same thing. And But the thing is, it looks a bit prettier than the one I showed you before. Um, to tell you guys the truth, I did not mess around with this program too much because I've been using the other one pretty much for the past few months. But um, this one is nicer looking. I think it's it looks nicer than, than the one I've used. So simply here's the tray icon and how you can change your desktop is you right click 
and there's a few options here to change your desktop as well as the settings and configuration either that or you can left click on this and it will show you four screens and you can just click on one of the four so for example I can click on go into Camtasia Studio and it's got very nice transitions I really do like the transitions but I do prefer the simple right click and select it's a lot faster when especially when you're busy so we we'll just go into the settings real quick and um, it allows you to choose your number of desktops this one is limited to 20 like I said my last one is um, I'm not sure if it has a limit I like I said I clicked on a hundred there were a hundred desktops and initial desktop I'm not really going to be going into this, you guys can check it out for yourself, but you can also change the appearance, components, controls, switching that stuff. So yeah, it is a bit better looking. I haven't messed around with this for t too much, I'm guess it, it looks like it can, it has a lot of potential, it can do a lot of stuff, but if you guys are interested in these two programs, I think they're great, especially if you guys are, you guys do something like me, like um, for example, I listen to music, build my website, um, chat, I, you know, multitasking. This is perfect. So make sure to check it out once again. The first one I showed you was Vista and XP Virtual Desktops. And this one is called Dexpot. So if you guys are interested, either one, go to the description. And maybe I'll encounter a new, another program one day and I'll just update it in the sidebar. So make sure to check out the sidebar and I'll put stars to the one I recommend or something. I don't know. So thank you for watching my tutorial and I'll try my best to put up more tutorials for you guys. Been really busy. I'm sorry. That's pretty much it. Have a wonderful day.